Okay, now that's fair. Mm -hmm. But then, say, taking continuum movement and knowing that this is a place of respite for her and I'm sure very many people, if if they do it, if they enter into the continu in the space of the continuum movement, or or using the movement, would does that help them recreate a new pattern or self perception or create a new context? Well, that, yeah. I mean, what I what I would say in relation to um, the exploration of continuum is the, the that the lens gets wider. In other words, the the um, every time we feel a new sensation, we're waking up. Uh-huh. So, in a sense, we're all like Sleeping Beauty, uh, where uh, we're awake, you know, up to a point. Yes. And so, the more oh, and and sensation plays an enormous role in this. So that without with without a an expanded palette of of sensory play. Mm-hmm. the the tendency is for a system to become encapsulated or incarcerated you know self incarceration in that sense mm-hmm. self imprisonment and and you know so much of what i've learned over the years is not a, not only coming from my own very extreme hypervigilance uh but also working with people who've been paralyzed so uh, i've yes. i've worked with very extreme situations of the incarceration of movement and sensation and what begins to happen when we live in a richer field so you're absolutely right that the richer my context is my capacity to experience and my capacity to engage in life enforcing modalities the the less preoccupied or less encapsulated my psyche will be. Mm-hmm. So whether it's uh, weight or self perception, mm-hmm. whether it's because of a physical limitation like the paralysis, yes. then broadening your even so I suppose going into a workshop or a class with continuum movement gives you a new experience of yourself. Yes. Yes, very much so. And so that, I mean, the entire premise of, uh, of continuum is how do we become self-limiting? Mm-hmm. And how do, and, 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 um, the issue of the broader band of, of potential that I have within me that that from a cultural point of view really doesn't get tapped we could say that as a culture or as even as a species species we're in a developmental phase i mean we yes. could definitely say that so that we've only been able to go as far as our developmental phase will allow us and conditioning is both necessary and it also is a wall mhm mhm so then it becomes really a comment of living within a societal context without being limited by it. That's right. And that's exactly what I say is can we live in culture and not be bound by it? But here's the tricky part is that in in any inquiry, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, I stay very much within the inquiry of fluid and the and I use the cell and the embryo as what I call biocosmic templates or as fractals, meaning that within the cell and the embryo, you really are seeing the the whole play of movement at at a at a very you know at a very uh, within that, and yet it the implication of it is enormous. And so I don't go off the deep end in any kind of esoteric or any kind of talking that can't be proved scientifically. Sure. I mean, you know, and that's just a choice that I've made in order to to really stay within the integrity of the organism so that you're Mm -hmm. not just going off in some kind of virtual reality playing around with um, strange things. You know, I'm just not I'm not into that at all. No, that's um, that makes a lot of sense. There's. Mm -hmm. There's another question online here, and it it, Mm -hmm. um, sort of relates to what I was next going to ask. And so Rue says. Hi, Emily. I've just had a heart attack, and I'm wondering about continuing movements to help. And so to follow up with that, my question was also going to be, is there a limit to our potential then? So a heart attack is a pretty extreme physical event. So is there a limit to what continuing 
Uh, I appreciate the question. Okay, so first of all, we would we would look from a continuum point of view. We look bottom up. In other words, uh, we don't we you know we understand that there's a diagnosis of a heart attack, but I would mm-hmm. bet you anything. I would bet you a thousand dollars, just sitting right here, that if we looked, is this person's name Rue? Yes. If we looked at her chest, we would see that there is enormous, and this is before the heart attack, enormous constriction uh, and compression around the tissue around the chest area. And, um, you know, so, so whenever we see that, we have to know that there's a starvation taking place, that the fluid is, is, is compressed and that the system is vulnerable to, to whatever it is. The, yes. um, I would bet you another thousand dollars that if we looked at Rue's torso, we would see that her tissue was not only compressed but raised up. Mm. Uh, like if she were lying down, it would be lifting up, sort of, not a, you know, not as high as the ceiling, but li- but lifted up kind of high, sure. meaning meaning that there's a, a kind of perpetual stress in her system that is forcing her breath to be rather speedy. Okay. So that her system never lets go. It 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 stays in speed all the time. Mm-hmm. So we would have to ask uh, in in deconstructing, and I. I, I call myself a CSI, a cosmic scene inspector, because <laughs> I love because I I love to deconstruct and I teach people how to be CSIs. So we call them cosmic scene inspectors. So we would be looking at her tissue organization that that was the precursor to the heart problem. Hi there, my name is Nina Wallander, and I wanted to talk to you about layers of health. Layers of Health is a free online community dedicated to investigating holistic and alternative health options. These options can include physical health, mental and emotional health, business health, as well as your spiritual health. So you can join me as I discuss your health concerns with various experts, mentors, and leaders in their fields. And these interviews are offered for free live as well as during special Encore presentations. But if you find one that is particularly interesting to you, you can also purchase it. So you can join me at www.layersofhealth.com and I'll see you on the calls.